Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous tutorial we have create and design our profile activity. You can see that, okay? Now we have to define these fields on our profile activity .java file and then we will initialize it and then we can proceed with it. So you can say private. First of all, we have a circle image view. We can call this as user profile image. Then we have two text views for username and status so we can call this as user profile name user profile status then we have a button which is the send message button so we can call this as send message request button as you know that uh, it will be similar just like in whatsapp that is if any unknown person can send you a message then you have the option to accept their request and add that person in your contact and also you can cancel that request I mean the message request just like you guys see in whatsapp now let's initialize these fields in our own create method so after that here we can say user profile image circle image view find view by ID. and the id for the profile image is visit profile image visit profile image then we have a user profile name so we can say user profile name equals to text view find view by id or dot id dot visit profile visit username let's copy paste this and we can change this for the user profile status make sure to change the id of this to visit profile status then we have a button so we can pass that and first of all change this to button and the name of the button is send message request button and the id for this is send message request button so yeah that's it and now we can retrieve the information and display it here on the profile activity so for that what we gonna do i will create a method by the name retrieve user information or you can simply call it as user retrieve user info so let's create that so this is the method so we need a reference to our database so what we're gonna do here we can simply say private the database reference and we can call this as user ref and here so we will create a reference to our users node and then inside we have different users by their unique user ids okay so that unique user id we are already getting here okay from the previous activity which is our find friend activity and we are storing that id here so first of all let's create a reference or you can say a link to our users node so what i'm what i am going to do is that here i can say user ref Firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child is our users not and remove this uh, toast okay which in we, uh, which we add in the previous tutorial we don't need that now so now by using this user ref we are going to retrieve the data of the users on which I mean any profile on which a user will click dot child and the child will be the receiver user id dot add value event listener new value event listener make sure to put a semicolon here and now here inside this on data change we can say if data snapshot exist as you know that uh, in our this app uh, the profile picture is optional that is it is totally up to the user that is if you if he, a user want to set his profile image or not so we have to add a validation for that okay so what i'm going to do after this you can say and then put two braces again and we can say that a snapshot dot has child image so then we will retrieve the image by using the data snapshot dot child and the image key name is image name and status okay so we can say image 
dot get value dot to string and we can copy paste this for the status and name so we can say name and the key value in the database for the name is name and for the status we can say status and the key name in the database is status s t a t u s let me confirm this again you can see this okay so we have to display it so in order to display the image we are using the picasso library so you can say dot get dot load user image dot into and the field name for our profile image is a user profile image so we can say user profile image and if a user has not set any profile picture then we can add a placeholder for that and we can say or dot drawable dot profile image which is an image inside the drawable folder so you can see this is uh, for the user if the user has not set uh, i mean if the user has set his profile image also as you know that the profile image is optional uh, in this app just like you guys see in whatsapp so first let's complete this if statement i mean we are going to uh, display the user profile name dot set text to username and then we have a user profile status dot set text to user status now in the else statement which is for the user if a user has not set any profile picture then we will not retrieve the image and we will just retrieve the username and status so copy this paste that here and we can copy this to and yes that's all as you know that the profile picture is uh, optional I mean some user will set their profile picture while some will not you can see that this user has not set their profile picture yet so he is using the default profile picture of the app okay just like you guys see in whatsapp so that's why this condition will check if the profile image is exist then we will uh, display all the information we first retrieve and then display all the information but if the profile picture is not set then we will just display the name and status which is mandatory in this app just like you guys see in whatsapp so yeah that's it and now let's run the app so the app is running now successfully and now let's go to the find friends activity and these are our all users so now let's click on Mohammed Ali share profile and you can see Mohammed Ali share and this is the profile status and all the things I mean this is amazing this is incredible now let's click on Peter Parker who has no profile picture okay so this is the default profile picture of this app so this is the username this is the profile status of this user he says hey i am a spider-man and then my uh, profile so you can see muhammad ali and uh, profile status so i mean this is working fine and this is this looks amazing i mean this is incredible so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will uh, start working on the uh, messages functionality the private chat basically just like you guys see in whatsapp as i told you twice i mean also in the start of this video that the user will first click on the send message button so this will basically uh, you can send a message to a user but uh, there will be a request to that user i mean that user will see that muhammad ali wants to talk to him okay so that user will have a choice either to accept that request or to cancel that so it is totally to the receiver of that request so once he uh, accept your message request then both will be able to talk with each other and you can and then uh, he will be able to add me in their contact list so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please please subscribe our channel coding cafe and thumbs up for this video please provide me uh, some suggestions and also uh, give me a positive review so that i can upload videos uh, with more quick speed so yeah, take care of yourself and bye for now.